What's up guys? So this is the very first set of wholesale lots and I'll tell you my vision behind this and then let me know what you guys think and I'm going to need your feedback because I am new to this process as well. So what I have found from doing reselling for a while is that the best lots actually come from other resellers because they are not saturated. If you get something from um, liquidation or salvage or retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, you run into the risk that the market can get flooded. Um, but if you buy out an estate sale, for example, someone just passed, um, there's no competition for the goods they have. That's where people get the most profit for the least amount of work, which is kind of like an objective for reselling. If you are just selling one-off items, you want to sell items for as much profit as possible. So this is the first set of uh, wholesale lots through this system. I'm going to launch it every day. I'm sorry, every week on Thursday at 6 in the morning. And then the lots will become available for sale on my website at 5 p.m. Um, and that's at dailyrefinement.com slash wholesale. That will become enabled at 5 p.m. And you can go ahead and purchase. I'm going to open it up early to the Patreon members. Um, you can join at patreon.com slash daily refinement at the $12 level and you'll get access to, er to buy those lots early. But the other benefit is that you can sell the lots yourself. Um, the way that I organize that, once you join the Patreon, you can take a look. You'll be able to make your own lots. So whatever you are selling, if you don't want to sell in a specific category, you can just basically trade with somebody else in the Patreon group, which is pretty interesting. So far since I have started opening this up in the last month or so, I have not had to look for any inventory. So I want to go over some of the rules so you guys can get an, an idea of what I'm trying to achieve with this. Um, on used goods, I'd like the ROI to be at least 50%, uh, meaning if you spend a dollar, you got to make at least 50 cents profit back and um, in a reasonable sell-through rate. And if you post something that's questionable, um, I'm going to give all buyers a three-day return policy. So all the lots through my system, since I'm risking my reputation, you have to offer returns. You can't have, there are no such thing as no returns through my system. All, everything offers returns for three days. You have three days to return it. Buyer pays return shipping and from sh and to shipping. So buyers going to risk the shipping because they're the ones that are not going out and getting the inventory themselves. So they're going to have to risk that extra cost in order to get inventory delivered to them. So on used, um, most of the lots that I have, I'm aiming personally so the person can double their money. But 50% ROI is sort of where I want people to be at on that, especially if they're more expensive items. Um, my lots, there's a lot of items that sell for over $40. I consider that really high for thrifted goods. So on those items, there's going to be a, a premium on those. On brand new goods, the ROI is going to be all over the place. There's going to be items that are 5% profit margin, meaning you spend a dollar and you get five cents. But they're going to have a really low rank, brand new something that you can send directly to a fulfillment center. That's that's interesting. Or there might be something that's 100% ROI or higher, but it's more long tail. Let's say like, you know, store close out, somebody finds 100 pairs of Fila and they have a horrible sales rank, but they're wholesaling them for $5. And on Amazon, they're asking 50, right? So that might take a while to sell, um, but you may want to take the risk on that. But if you're going to sell Oreos, you might only make five cents per box of Oreos, but it might make it might be worth it if you sell thousands a day. So it just depends on new goods. It's a little um, more finesse. Um, you have to have a video haul, so people have to know what it is that they're buying, just looking at it, and um, what is it, what's in it. Um, let us know the condition if you can. And again, you better describe it properly because I'm accepting returns. People can send it back. I'm gonna release the payment to the person who's launching the wholesale three days um, after the person receives it or after they confirm. Um, so far we've been doing this, it's been the same buyers. People are looking for specific goods. The relationships are already building. So in, in a perfect world, I you know most of the lots are already sold. When people are buying them, you can just text message the buyer and be like, hey, I'm, I'm at the toy uh, wholesaler right now they have these kinds of games do you want them i'll pick them up for you and it'll it'll be the way to it'll be a way to arbitrage your lowering your costs when you're at a wholesale lot and then also you can buy for somebody else and so far i've already purchased almost three thousand pairs of shoes from people once i open this up personally so i think everyone should be able to reach their goal um of having stuff arrive to them but you may have to put some elbow grease into it, meaning you may have to put the work in to get inventory for somebody else to make it worth it.
Um, so again, it's going to also make a big difference where you live. Um, I would say one of the big variables in this experiment is the shipping cost. If you live really close to somebody, the weight is going to be like under one pound and I'm sorry, under one dollar per cubic foot of shipping. And, you know, on the contrary, somebody who lives all the way across the country might be closer to two dollars per cubic foot, depending on how the lots are. The lots are small. Obviously, it's more expensive. The bigger you go, the lower the cost per cubic foot drops. So. That's something I'm figuring out. And also, I need your help with this piece. I don't know what happens for the Patreon members. Who, How do I make it fair for them to purchase the lot first? Because there's already quite a few Patreon members. So if somebody puts up a lot, how do I do first come, first serve for the people who are early on the list? That's something I need help with. Um, that's the only missing link. Um, at 5 p.m., when the link goes live, everybody has the same equal opportunity to get it. That's pretty fair. But the Patreon members, people are paying to get early access. So what does that mean? Are they guaranteed a certain number of lots? So I'll figure that part out. But the wholesale lots will be time stamped in the description below. So take a look at the different lots and see which one you like. And these lots will be avail available at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every week on Thursday for the whole year, I'm going to try launching these lots. So pretty excited to see how this works. Everyone have a great day. Let's get straight into the lots. Let me know your feedback in the comment section below. Thanks. This lot is containing 22 pieces, all women's new with tags clothing. I'm going to start out with the first five pieces here. This one is a charter club cardigan. The next one is a JM Collection cardigan. It has a nice rhinestone button style detail, removable collar. Next one is a brown fleck cardigan by Charter Club. And then there's three pairs of pants. The first one is a chocolate brown wide stretch band waist by Raffaella. The next pair is a legging style Jennifer Lopez silver snake print. And the last one in this little batch is Studio Works Brown Wide Waistband Stretch. Next up is a batch of sweaters. The first one is from Cloud Chaser. Gray fleck. A little bit of high-low going on there. This next one is a purplish blue turtleneck, thin, good for in between seasons. It's apartment nine. Next one, large cowl neck brown with ivory and some gold threading, some fringe on the collar. This is by Elements, size medium. Next one is a light slate blue sweater and it does have some tunic slits on the side and a blouse um, underlay section at the bottom. It's by Croft and Barrow. It's extra large. And then this next one is also apartment nine. It's black with ivory. Here we have a lot of five sweaters. First one is 
Jean Pierre, size large, royal blue crew neck. Second is this turquoise green crew neck, designer's originals, size small. Next up is Jean or Jean Pierre beige colored turtleneck sweater. Next up is this dark teal blue green with black fleck. Cowl sort of turtleneck, apartment nine, size large. And then there's a royal blue turtleneck sweater. JM collection, this is a medium petite. Three blouses and tops. This one is Style & Company, size medium, has a three-quarter length sleeve with a ruching. Next one, absolutely famous, it's a dark pine green, size medium, has a high-low on the bottom. Next one is a mustard yellow blouse, sequin hearts, size medium. And the last grouping of this lot is three more blouses. The first one is a Laura Ashley, size medium, gray long sleeve, t-shirt style with some rhinestone design. Next up is a Jennifer Lopez black sweater style blouse. It has chain detailing on the sleeves. It's a three quarter sleeve. It's kind of lacy with the chain detail. And the last one is Charter Club size medium print blouse neutral browns, blacks, three-quarter sleeve. Okay, this is the first lot for myself, Chris, on January 2nd. It is 20 um, jackets, and six of them are North Face. So one, two, three, this is a uh, fuzzy fleece, four, it's like a snowboarding jacket, five, it's a Denali jacket, Six, just a quarter zip. Uh, this is a round tree New York heavy uh, jacket. It's piece number seven. This one I'm going to include for free. Um, pretty heavy, so um, you're gonna you could sell this for probably 15 plus shipping, but we'll include it for free. Um, this is a really nice Ralph Lauren dad jacket. Excellent condition. Um, this is the one that I found on that video. Um, I was able to remove the stain um, with Tide. So thank you for somebody showing me how to do that. That stain came out super nice. This is a pretty expensive, at least $30 for that jacket. Um, the UPS jacket. Um, Ford pullover jacket. This is, this is pretty nice. Size large, made in Hong Kong. Um, here we have another polo fleece, polo Ralph Lauren blue label. Really nice, excellent condition. Um, a cow, like jacket, hooded, waterproof, Under Armour hoodie. Um, and here we have a Robert Graham um, turtleneck. So these are, this is really nice. Beautiful inside print. Uh, very heavy and corded. And then finally, a Black Hawk jacket.
So 20 pieces. Okay, this is lot number two. It's 43 pairs of pants and jeans. The price is going to be 130 shipped. So that's like a little over $3 a piece, including shipping. But let's get into it. Uh, a pair of Jordan um, kids. Um, what are these called? Warm ups. Those are brand new. Uh, 55 bucks. We've got some Levi's, so that's two. Um, these are just 15 pairs of random jeans. I'm not going to go through them since the brands aren't that great. Um, but, you know, they're okay. Roca Wear, Gap, Old Navy. Um, some of them are a J. Crew, just some Banana Republic, just some average brands. Um, there are some better ones I'm going to go through in just a second. So, um,. Yeah, that's 15 pairs there. And then we have nine pairs. Um, James jeans, one, two, three, four, four pairs of James jeans. These are all brand new. The MSRP is like 150. Um, let's see if I can find one. Four. I don't have the MSRP on these because these are like factory samples, but the MSRP on these jeans is $150. I'm gonna sell them for like three bucks. And here's a pair of PD and C. Honestly, one of the easier pairs to, sit, to sell in this lot because it's size 38, 32. So I sold these for like $30 a piece, um, brand new. This one's a little bit rough because the tag is off, but it is new. Um, a lot of brand new stuff in this particular lot. Um, then we've got, this is some J. Crew chinos. These ones are pretty nice. Um, Levi's, um, Ralph Lauren, Hollister. Levi's, um, another Levi's, Blue Asphalt, Banana Republic, uh, Scrub Star, easy to sell, Jag, Calvin Klein, Shio, Page, Levi's, Lucky Brand, Tommy Hilfiger, Levi Strauss. There's 20 North Faces. One, this is a puffer, two, here is another one, three, here is a Denali, this is a really nice one, four, and remember on these ones you definitely want to wash them so that they get their fluff back. Purple Denali, 20 total North Face pieces in this one. High vent, um, rain jacket, fantastic. Um, there's another, this is just a regular fleece. The Denali's are the, the two-tone ones. This is the, uh, yeah, like this, the two-tone. Another zip-up fleece. Some of these are pilling, um, but other ones are nicer to make up for it black here's another denali this one's a really nice one baby blue the ones with the front pocket are a little easier to sell um here's a hoodie these sell like crazy i don't know why these graphic these graphic ones sell so well um another fleece that one has some lint on it this one's another denali dang this one is nice should probably keep this one but I'll throw it in the lot. This one is in excellent condition. Probably $40 a piece for this. Um, let's see. Here's a Nautica jacket that you'll get for free. Um, another North Face. Another North Face. Another North Face. Another North Face, and then last one. So that's 20 North Faces in Number this four, lot. this is 22 pieces of outdoor stuff. Boston Bruins um, Windbreaker, one. Uh, Boston Calling NYC uh, sweater. This is brand new. It's like a sweater dress, two. Um, brand new Quicksilver hoodie, three. I think there's still a sticker. Um, it's new. These retail for about $40. Three, I would ask maybe 20 
Atlanta Republic pea coat, brand new without tags. Really nice piece, you know, several hundred dollars new, but you can't ask that much for this condition. And you'll probably have to dust it off. This has been sitting in storage for a long time. Um, here we have Ralph Lauren hoodie, zip up hoodie. Um, here we have a polo jacket. This is super nice. Blue label. Pony. Really nice piece. Under Armour hoodie. Uh, Land's End jacket. The This is from Macy's. It's Macy's Overstock. This is probably like $150 new, um, but it was a restore return most likely. Columbia um, vintage jacket. Nice piece. Um, this is Icebreaker Merino. Ridiculously good brand. Just a zip up hoodie though, nothing fancy. Um, Capcom. This is awesome. Port Authority jacket. Somebody's going to want that. Polo jacket. Fantastic piece. This is like their, their copy of the North Face Denali. Love it. Pony logo. Excellent condition. Fascinable sweater. Fantastic piece. Great. Very expensive brand. Um, another polo. Pima cotton sweater. Green. Under Armour hoodie. Um, what is this? Point Reyes hoodie. I'll just give you this for free since it's not a not a good brand. Another two tone Columbia Shorenstein. Made in USA. Awesome. Um, here is a Dickies sweatshirt. Um, a Ralph Lauren blazer for women. This is very expensive. This is from a Macy's lot. Uh, what is this? This is another fashionable sweater, 100% wool. Daniel Cremeau, Cremeau, Creme, Cremeau, Cremeau, Daniel Cremeau. And then this last piece is Hugo Boss. So pretty decent brands. Okay, this, this lot. is lot number five. Um, one pair of diesel jeans, two pair of diesel jeans, one pair of Athleta um, yoga pants. Or not yoga pants. These are like. Um, lounge pants but very expensive and these are new without tags um, one Patagonia um, jacket and then one North Face vest ridiculously nice condition this lot's just five pieces okay this is lot number six uh, mostly North Face one two um, this is a vintage uh, Nautica fisherman's jacket this is really sweet number three Uh, number four. Five. North Face, number six. Seven, another Denali jacket. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Stussy jacket. Seventeen. Columbia, 18. REI, 19. North Face, 20. Nautica Competition Jacket, 21.
vintage Nautica shirt. This is from the 80s. I'm gonna include this for free, but definitely ask like $40 for this. This is an incredible North Face jacket and it is made in the USA. Um, I would ask at least $100 for this. It is an awesome, awesome jacket. Vintage, made in USA, perfect condition. That's a big one. And then finally, this North Face made in Great Britain vest. It's down, um, it is, yeah, it's down goose down and this is like incredibly rare i have never seen something like this also so i would probably ask a hundred dollars for this lot this vest as well just because of just how rare it is really really cool piece what's up guys this is lot number seven lot number seven is 395 promotional photographs these are really cool for somebody that wants to grind out listing these one by one uh, what era are these from these are from early 60s, 1970s, from the National Broadcasting Corporation. These are like the kind of the the black and whites you'd see at different places that people would sign for promotional use. Um, there's, wow, look at this. That's that's crazy. Yeah, there's, some, there's some crazy. Sammy ones Davis here. Jr. That's there's incredible. Some, uh, so there's some duplicates. So there's just some like uh, what look to be kind of still photos uh from on location um but there's 395 of them um, these are amazing this for somebody that wants to grind it out make sure that you actually list these one at a time because they're all going to be slightly that, they're all going to be slightly different and it's important to recognize that um when you are selling these condition really matters to the collector but given the age of them i feel like um they're in fantastic condition. And they're all numbered. So there's 395 of them. Well, they're uh, not numbered. They're not numbered in sequence. But oh, they not in a, sequence, yeah. Like, they're, this is probably the, the numbering from the... Okay. Anyway, yeah. this is probably the numbering from the... the way, you know, when it was created, like, how many images they made for that particular movie. That's right. Um, and, yeah, these... This is definitely from a collector. It's a very eclectic mix of photographs. Very, very cool. We are going to ship these in a box so they will not get damaged during shipping. These ones are going to go through the post office USPS priority. All right, guys. 395 pictures. Barbarella. Incredible. Really cool pictures. Oh, the oldest profession. That's right. What is... Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, is that it? Number yeah, eight. It. This is super discounted because of the condition of the shoes. Um, K Swiss, uh, Converse. These are all stars. Yeah, two pairs of all star tall or highs. Um, here is a pair of Aldos. And again, these these ones are pretty rough. You'd have to spend some time cleaning them up. Um, some superstar shell toes. Uh, another pair of high top Converse. And then uh, some Hawk skate shoes. So, seven pairs. All right, what's up, guys? This is lot number nine. Um, so, this one's going to be filled with basically J. Crew and Banana Republic. This is Swole. Let's see. Yeah, that's Merino. Yeah. Like a blend. Merino wool. This, I mean, these, these will sell. Um, not for much, but um, really easy to sell. Great for beginners. That's one. Um, we have here Calvin Klein sweater, two. Ribbed. This is uh, Banana Republic shirt. Not iron. Three. Remember to use not iron and check in your um, description. Four. Another banana shirt. Five. Another banana shirt. Six. Another banana shirt. Seven banana. Eight banana. Linen. Nine banana. Ten banana. Eleven banana. Make sure that you mark the fit whenever you're listing these. 12 banana, great sizes. 
13 banana. Ooh. 14 Dockers overcoat. Fifteen Express Women's Size Six Jacket. Is that fifteen or sixteen? You said fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen Tommy Hill figure. Argyle. Seventeen. Banana cashmere. Quarter zip. Let's see. Eighteen banana. Another sweater. 19 New Balance jacket. Twenty Banana Republic sweater again. Twenty-one INC quarter zip. Twenty-two banana slacks. Thirty-eight thirty-two fantastic. We got how many? Twenty-three. <laughs> Abercrombie and Fitch jacket. Twenty-four banana sweater. Twenty-five vintage Columbia. It's a nice piece. And last piece, twenty-six Brooks men's running jacket. So awesome a lot. Fairly priced, which one should go really fast because it's a good beginner kit. Okay, this is lot number 10. Tim's, Kobe's, Paul George's, uh, another pair of Nikes in the back, some Aldo's, two pairs of Creative Rex, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs total. What's up guys? So this is lot number 11 and the final lot from me today. Um, North Face pullover. That's, a, that's actually a, this is a vintage made in Canada women's pullover. Okay. Uh, so the, the fabric quality is just much nicer. Very cool little retro piece. Okay. As a Wonder. base layer. North Face. Foot Joy, size XL Polo. Incredible shape, like new. It's actually... It's actually, all, the, all these golf shirts are new. Yeah, these are probably new because yeah. it's, it's unworn. They haven't lost any of their, their elastic. Two. Uh, piece three, Bitcoin Polo. Bitcoin.com. Brand new. Brand new. Uh, three, this is um, Travis Matthew, awesome shirt, same shirt I'm wearing. Um, is that piece number four? Number four. Uh, Link Soul, number five. Uh, Adidas Climalite, number six. Polo, Liberty Mutual International. Invitational. Invitational. Trans America jacket. This is what, soft shell? Soft shell workwear. Awesome. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces so far. Number nine, Addy Pier. It's a very nice shirt. Very nice. Number 10, AG Jeans. The Protege. Awesome condition. Number 11. What's in here, James? Oh, that's a it's a really really nice olive drab kind of uh, almost like a Harrington jacket, but with like a little bit longer, like a Barracuda style, um, lined. And this one is it looks like it's almost unworn. The retail sticker in here says two hundred forty eight bucks, and it's perfect. It's a large. Eleven. We Beautiful. will box that up nicely. Piece 12, Woolrich shirt, button down, size medium. Gap bomber jacket, 13. Very nice. Insulated bomber. So. Insulated. Number 12, AG jeans, the Harper. Nice wash. Nice wash. 13, Fred Perry shirt, super nice. Brand new. Brand new. Size extra large. This is over a hundred dollars. Fourteen, London fog jacket. Piece fifteen, Columbia fishing shirt. With the back vent, don't forget to, to uh, don't forget to uh, describe that. 
16 is, what is it? Oh, Ralph Lauren pants, outdoor pants. Cargo pants. Cargo pants. Um, new with tags, see-through sole pants. $50 MSRP, obviously. Wasn't it $78? I'm sorry, 78 MSRP from uh, Nordstrom, marked down to 49 Nice pants. Women's flare. Flare cut. Hmm. Hudson jeans. Nice. Button flap rear. Marmot jacket, size large. It's a women's jacket. Women's really jacket. Nice. This is really nice. Scarlet. Cool pants, size 30, 32 by 30. I'm going to look for that logo. Great stuff. Stone New York jacket puffer. Oh, this one has the tags inside of it, too. Okay. Oh, and the silica. So. And the silica. Nice. Really nice piece. Very expensive jacket. All right. Lot number Thanks, 12. Guys. This is North Face. This is a huge hiking backpack right what is this this is a vintage north face cordura backpack this is in the cobalt blue color patagonia north, north face made this a lot in the 90s and what makes this pack special besides like all the functional buckles and all this good stuff and it's not like super old where it's cracking you know everything is still in great shape uh, this bag is also made in usa which is always more desirable for you know vintage heads or Drifters, and if you look here, this is a uh, men's large, made in USA. Awesome. Uh, this is nylon. It has removable um, plastic backing. You know. Yep. Um, for the support, um, everything is intact. The you know the waist belt, the lumbar is all here. Suspension's all here. There is some like writing. This uh, this hood is detachable. Okay. So this does come off. Um, but for, you know, the collector or for the user, this is, you know, totally still usable. Um, there's no, like, delamination, which happens in a lot of the, the packs. So. Yep. We would ask yeah. at least, you should ask at least 200 for this jet, this, this, this backpack. Yeah. Very rare. Maybe, maybe 250. Maybe so, 250. Um, it, is, it is pretty special. All right, guys. What's up guys, I am Kenny and we are doing another shoe lot of 20. We are going to start with an Eastland shoe. There's the front and the bottom. Next we got a Clark's Cloud Stepper. There's the top, got the side zip and there's the bottom. Next one is a Eddie Bauer, kind of like a boat shoe loafer. There's the bottom, top. Next is a Rockport dress shoe. And there's the bottom. Next is a, that is Bear Traps boot there's the bottom got the zip on the side there's the other side all right next is earth origins slip on that's the front and the back Right, next is a Cole Haan Penny Loafer. Then we have Timberland Shoe. Some really good tread on this one. Next we have Another Earth Origins, uh, like uh, ankle boot. 
There's the side, got the zipper, other side, top, and bottom. Alright, next is a BOC sandal, bottom, top. Alright, and we have next is a North Face boot. There's the tread. That's like a suede. Other side. Front. Some fox fur. There we go, North Face. Next, a Bayo. There's the bottom. Front. Okay. And next is Dockers slip on back and the front. Okay. Here we go with a New Balance boot. Some pretty good tread on there. Uh, it does have, I will note, a uh, aftermarket insole. It's not the original one. Back, front, and bottom. Okay, then we got Sperry Top Cider. Sperry Top Cider. <laughs> there we go. A boat shoe. There's the bottom. Top. Right next is bear traps and bottom, side, top, bottom. I'm trying to get every angle here. Okay, next is if I say this right, uh, it's B. Mikowski, I believe. That one's pretty fancy, just like a wedge sandal. Back, top, front, all right. And then, second to last is a Echo slip-on. Back, front, all right. Last is base, like a short heel. Back, top, and there you go. It's the last one. And I forgot the 20th shoe. The last one is a mayoral sandal. There's the top, bottom, front, and top. And I will also be adding these pair of water shoes. There's a little extra room in the box. Actually, I'll show top, you got the bottom. And I will also be adding these Bernie Mev. That's how you say it. There's the front and the back. All right, happy New Year's, guys. All right, first we got a short sleeve Patagonia large shirt. Ralph Lauren large classic fit. Hugo Boss large. Tommy Bahama XLX. Uh, Ducks back button down shirt. I think the rest of these are long sleeve. Uh, Gander Mountain, uh, lightweight, like fishing shirt. Brooks Brothers, large. Ralph Lauren, that's a herringbone dress shirt, non iron, medium large. Ben Sherman Polo, that's short sleeve. Uh, Brooks Brothers, medium, medium stripe. Ben Sherman Polo, that's short sleeve. Uh, Brooks Brothers, medium striped. Dress shirt, spread collar. Uh, an NFL, Carolina Panthers, uh, short sleeve, Reebok, um, casual shirt. Joseph A. Bank, slim fit, large, medium, uh, French cuff. This Brooks Brothers shirt up here had a French cuff. 
and a small Charles Terwitt shirt that sounds too slim fit. 